Hi everyone, this is Eva. Welcome back to my channel. I'm glad you're here and I hope you had a better Christmas holiday than I had since I managed to stumble upon some laryngitis right after my birthday and it lasted all through the whole Christmas. At least I had a wonderful New Year's Eve and I really do hope you had too and that you also had a lot of crafting to do. Today I have a Traveler's Notebook process with Marie Salarine's The Good Life Bundle for January and February. In this bundle you have everything you need to create great 12 volt weight layouts as well as a mixed media notebook, pocket card, stickers, a planner kit and also extra papers to play along with. So to summon it up you only need a printer, scissor and glue to do some great hybrid layouts with this lovely bright and colorful bundle. When I unboxed the bundle I immediately thought of some photos from a winter day walk last winter and they fit perfectly with all the bright colors. I even used some flowers from the bundle, even if there wasn't any flowers on the walk since it um, actually was winter, but uh, flowers are flowers and they fit almost anywhere, right? Although I let my silhouette do most of the cutting job, I had to cut little myself just for fun. No, just kidding. It was mostly because I used some notebook templates from the Good Life November 2022 bundle. And, uh, well, I totally forgot to cut the photos with the silhouette. My memory in a nutshell. Here I've cut the background paper to fit into my notebook and also started to back and place the photos where I want them. So now I'm placing the paper strips where they are on the template. I mirrored the right side of the template to fit my layout and in Photoshop I just dragged the pieces I wanted onto the layers and did some clipping mask to have the elements to have the pattern they have. And yes, I learned to do things in Photoshop the hard way. I even did this layout the hard way. Hmm. So on the right side I took advantage of the lesson I learned from the left side. Don't glue everything down the first thing you do. Well. I'll remember that for another time. Or not. <laughs> I also wanted to wrap the edges up a little on the notebook piece, so my almost invisible nails had to do some work. I really enjoy working in my notebook. It's a perfect size, at least for me, but I occasionally do some 12 by 12 layouts too. It's rare, but it happens. The hope isn't out for me yet. Yay! The spread looks quite good this far, but I'm barely halfway through the process, so a lot of surprises can still pop up and give me a major meltdown. I can reveal that it went well. <laughs> I'll admit it takes a lot of tape and glue, but I'm having fun, and that's what matters. Here I just try to glue everything down on the right spots, easier said than done sometimes, especially when the hands that holds has its own life. Since I don't want this particular notebook to be overly chunky, I try to use as thin elements as possible and sometimes I also cut uh, off bits and pieces of the elements to make things slimmer, if that makes sense. When working in the notebook, I almost always print on 100 GSM paper, no matter what element it is. Although I want things to be as flat as possible, I want the flowers uh, to look a little bit thicker than they are, so I use the stylus tool and some pistols to make them a tad bit bulkier. Yeah, okay, well, now we see if I learn my mistakes. This far it seems okay, but I'm awfully good at messing around with glue and tape, so we'll see. Wow, look at that. It is possible to teach old dogs to sit and it looks very similar to the template. Uh, time to put the finishing touches on the masterpiece. Well, I won't take a place in the Hall of Fame with this one, but the main thing is as long as I'm happy, well, then it's good. I'm actually really satisfied with how this uh, spread turns out. Uh, Marie's really nailed the colors in this bundle and they suit me for sure. I really love pastels and I'm a real sucker for pink and peach and purple and teal and and uh, ah, I think I stopped there. 
hope you had a good time with me today and that I managed to inspire you to head over to digitalscrapbook.com and check the new bundle out. I'll leave the links in the box below if you are interested. I'll also leave links to other process videos to watch on. And don't forget to hit the like button if you like what you see and why not subscribe if you haven't already. I really hope to see you all very soon again. And until next time, take care and craft on. Bye bye. Hej då!